So tonight I'm going to do a little bit of stealth camping using an e-bike. Now I'm not using the e-bike as a tent, I do have a tent in my rucksack, but I'm going to be using the e-bike to get to a location. And funny enough, I don't even know what location I'm going to be getting to yet. So it's just as and when I see a spot. As and when I see a spot that I like the look of. So I'm going to quickly show the e-bike and then we're going to get on as well. So we've only got a couple of hours of daylight left. So this is a giant e-bike, Engway X26, fat tires, four inch thick. So this will be beautiful on the canal. What I do hope I can get to this time. Fantastic e-bike this, it's a folding one. You just pull it out from here and it folds up. This here is your seat, obviously, we all know what a seat is, but the battery is all the way down to the bottom there. And then you can have another battery in there, but I only decided to go for the one battery. The tires and the wheels do remind me of the old BMXs. Triple suspension, back, center, and your front suspension. So if you are a regular to the channel, you know I'm not a very clued up person on this sort of stuff to remember everything. So what I will do is I'll share the link in the description to their website. You can check that out if you want and you can see it all from there. And one thing that I do like is it does have back brake lights. So when I brake, that shines red and there's one at the front, what's a normal light anyway. Wow, you can definitely tell the summer's coming because it's starting to warm up now. Right. Let's get on the way. Oh, and did I mention hydraulic brakes? I'll talk a little bit what I'm going to be doing with the sea bike later in the video. So that's what we're going to be going on, the green way. Public bridle way. It's uh, classes route 66. Someone scribbled the top man out, but yeah, you go this way, you go to Bradford. That way, we're just going to keep going and hopefully we can get on the canal. Right, so I want to turn the e-bike on, 100% battery, I just want to see what battery is once we get to the location. I'm going to sort it out so I can see exactly the mileage that we're going to be doing on this trip as well. So I do want to remember that 12 miles, the previous time on this e-bike, that's how far I did. I can't really remember how to reset it, you've got your speed in miles per hour. If you want to change your assist when you're cycling, like this you just press the plus and that'll go all the way up to nine press down and that goes all the way to number one if you hold the information button down then you can get sport mode on and then it has eco mode right up to number nine as well it says i've been 32, 33 miles per hour on this bike previously. I don't think that's correct. You can't go that fast on this bike. Right, so that's enough for the e-bike. That's what I agreed to show in the video so I can have this bike. What's gonna allow me to do stuff like this in the summertime. Right, check, oh. This e-bike does have a bit of a kick to it. I will say that the minute you turn the, uh, the pedals, it kicks in with the assist straight away. So that's something you probably do have to be careful about. Like now, I'll just turn it. And it's taking me a little bit quicker. I do want to slow that down a little bit. I don't want to be going that quick really, not yet. So I really only just started on this journey and I already see red signs everywhere. So that probably means something's closed off. So I do need to have a look at this daughter because this may ruin the whole trip. Yeah, footwear ahead closed. I wonder if they've done all the work and just haven't taken them down yet. So it looks open, doesn't it? But then again, it does look really quiet, the path.
Yeah, this is the sort of stuff what I run about uh, back in the last year, wanting to do e-bike stealth camping and just e-bike camping in general. But once again, I see another sign over here. Yeah, I've been looking forward to doing this all winter time. I'm just not enjoying having the backpack on my back really, because it's sort of like trying to pull me backwards. So I'm trying to keep lent over a little bit. Yeah, it still says there. <laughs> Another sign saying a uh, walk head closed. I really hope this is all right, because I'm looking forward to <laughs> Stealth camping tonight like this. I had a tarmac in it. So from this bumpy ride, it'll go smooth in a minute. There we go, look at that. Very smooth. And they haven't done this part yet. And then here, you can see, it goes back to being nice and tarmacked. Wow, what a comfortable ride. And be good for GoPro this as well. Won't be jumping around. You know, I really do hope that I can get to the uh, canal just above there. You can see is the motorway. See, I really do hope I can get to the canal and find somewhere to camp close by there. I've seen a few places already, so if I have to turn around because it's closed off, I've I've seen one or two places where I think I can set my tent up and cook myself some dinner, so that would be a good thing. I do have another e-bike where I can put something in the front of it as like a basket in it and then on the back you can put like a cage over the back wheels so you can put your camping equipment on that as well and that's a step through e-bike so that will be a lot better because I, I will but I really want to do let's say a lot more uh, e-bike camping across the canals and stuff this summertime it's something I've been thinking about for at least two years let's say so I'm, I'm finally happy, but tonight I can get out and I can do what I want to do. So if I do find it hard to get to where I want to be, if it's still closed, this point here is somewhere that I did have in mind. I think we'll better get over the water back here, up there and then into that small new woodland there. Just give us a bit of a choice, really. Fit the size of this bike here. Jesus, that is an old bike, isn't it, people? <laughs> Imagine back in days when they brought a bike like that out. See, size at front wheel. And then they're developing bikes to be e-bikes, where you can do 50 odd miles on them. You know, they say you can do 50 miles on an e-bike, certain e-bikes, some are 30, 40, whatever it is. But if someone who's eight stone gets on that e-bike, yeah, they might get close to it. But if someone like myself, 15 stone, and I've got an heavy rucksack on my back of camping equipment, obviously the bike's using more power, so the mileage you can cover is gonna be less. But I've only used 6% so far. That's not too bad. But yeah, this is a spot where I think, if all necessary, I can come here. Right, so, same as last time. It's closed off and it's got one of them police alarm things just over that side there. So even if you do hope to get in or to get over, that's gonna uh, probably alarm and let the police know someone's gone through. Yeah, that's disappointing that. I'm gonna see if on Google Maps that I can find a way around all this. So everywhere that I try to go, by the street signs, Greenway, this way, that way, 
it's just brought me to this. <laughs> Another dead end. We do have a lot of water though. Yeah, so I'm unsure in which way to go now. I've been going about half an hour following all signs. Uh, some in that direction over there, I see a lot of like orange barriers and stuff like that. I'm going to see if I can get back out here and head up to that direction. Because I can definitely see this camping in one of the two locations that I've seen. Yeah, there's no signs either to say when it's all over or when it's going to be reopened. But you know what? It's part of the adventure, isn't it? Just be that person, get up, get outdoors. Because this, really, I'm finding quite exciting. Even though I'm lost, <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't know the area. Yeah, I can use Google Maps, but I think that's definitely cheating. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep going. I'm just going to head for that direction. I've got 80% battery left. I do want to try to save at least 50% for the morning. If I have to cycle home normally in an heavy bike, what's about 90 pound in weight? Yeah, it's going to be a long ride home, isn't it? Right, let's get to that direction and let's see if I can get on canal that way. Right, so I've made it to the canal. I just hope in the morning that I can at least find my way back through all that diversion. Wow. I hope I remember my way home. Because <laughs> that was a long way. Right. Let's follow the canal now. Let's see if I can find spots where I'd like to try and camp tonight. If not, it'll be all the way back through all that uh, diversion, left, right, up, down, centre, every direction you can think of, and to the first place that I told you earlier. Right, so I thought I'd bring you back. See this, a uh, couple of locks, canal locks. Tell you one thing, these fat tyres really do help in the mud. This gives you that super grip. Uh, I need to somehow get the sea bike through here. We'll turn handles a bit. There we go, we're in. Right, let's carry on on the canal. So we've reached lock 23 and I'm going to be completely honest, I really don't recognise this place. So I don't know if I'm on a different part of the canal or anything, but I really don't recognise any of it. So that is a little bit of a concern. Last thing I want to do is get lost. Probably not the best idea to camp there, but it'd be ideal, wouldn't it? Just need to get off these cobbles. Woo. There we go, back on a bit of gravel here. There we go. I can say one thing, I have found probably the spot that I might camp at tonight. I've just passed it a couple of minutes ago. 
Yeah, so that is quite a nice little spot. It's going to have to be stealth camp though, because it's close to the canal and stuff. But then again, who's going to be walking around the canal front at night time? But still, we will need to go into a stealth mode, as we call it, <laughs> with an e-bike. I've got a way of covering that over there. Right, let's continue. 64% uh, battery. I'm aiming to get to about 50%, then stop. And another thing, Daniel, if you're watching this back, uh, get yourself some goggles, riding glasses. Because how many times have an eye gone, an eye gone in your fly? <laughs> how many times has a fly gone in your eye where you've been out for the past two hours? Get yourself an order some. Get yourself an order some. You know what I mean. It's nice to see, isn't it? Mother's just hiding the baby away from behind her. Yeah, there's a little the baby fall. On spot like this, I struggle to remember stuff there. Look how beautiful it is. Small little thing. Right. Let's carry on. Oh. Here comes boss man, picking on him. Right, so we're here at the end of this part of the canal. It joins up to the uh, river from here. Someone's got a bad, bad dog there. Right. So that is the end of this. Can't go any further. So you can join uh, somewhere further up and go a couple more miles and join back onto the canal. But I'm not going to do that. I've got 52% battery left. So what I want to do is find that little spot that I said I wanted to camp at. And then we'll get set up there. Because we don't have too long left now of daylight. The last thing I want to do is be there, trying to set up in the dark, having torches flashing around and stuff. So let's make his way back. And get something to eat. Because I've got some fantastic food tonight. It's in them uh, bag meals. But when you see it, you'll be like, nice. I've done a, a main meal and a pudding. So I really am looking forward to it. So I did start getting hungry about an hour ago. And I've just worked out we've done 15.6 miles. That's just on this uh, canal, the uh, bridal way, what you're going to call it, and then toying around that little area trying to find the way. So that's quite a lot of miles. And I've got to do all that again in the morning. So it's 30 miles trip just on the e-bike power. Then there's coming here, what's about another four miles and going home, there's another four miles. So yeah, a lot of mileage done. I mean, join the e-bike, I'll talk about that later. Right, I'm at this spot that I did see earlier. I'm hoping I better walk around a little bit further. Just get away from when these bushes thicken out a little bit behind me. Wow. Uh, the e-bike dropped power pretty quick, so I've had to sort of like turn it off and cycle a heavy e-bike like this for the last two and a half miles. Whew. That is fitness. Right, I'm hoping to be somewhere over there. Right, so I'm back on the... The bridal way. Uh, the land what I thought I could camp on, way too boggy. It was horrible. So I, f I just made a quick decision not to bother camping there. There was no need to mess around. So earlier when I pointed over the water, I said I think that'll be a good little spot later on. Uh, I'm just going to cycle back there now. Battery is on 38%. I've been cycling it with all power off just to save some power for the morning. <sighs> Tell you what, you forget how hard work it is pedalling. 
<laughs> just right now I've got it on assist two, just for a second or two. But yeah, I want to get to that little spot where I said it might be a good place to camp. And then uh, we'll get set up there, hopefully. So I really do need some dinner. I am so hungry. Right, so I found a spot I'm going to be doing some camping tonight. <clears throat> it's nice to get that rucksack off my back. We're going to be uh, just camping in there. You can see my uh, bike here. I've got something to cover that I can on it. My rucksack, and just at the bottom, it'll be absolutely perfect for my tent. I've looked around now for a good 10 minutes. It's probably the best spot that I can find. <sighs> Take this off for a bit. Well, for the rest of the night. <sighs> and I'm going to uh, get some food out. And I'm going to eat and have a drink. And then as it's getting dark, I'll set the tent up then. Yeah, food and water I need right now. So there is a few people still walking around. Oh, but we've only got about half an hour daylight left now. But I definitely need to get something to eat. You know, I can never get these gas canisters on first time. And I'll tell you something, midges are out in force already. That's me going to be getting bit all over my face as usual. Get some water boiled. Right, because we're stealth camping, I really don't want to be sticking a light on right yet. So these are the meals. This is a basil tomato, like a rice thing. And in here, it's creamy tomato mash. Now, these bags are really good for this sort of stuff because you can just bag your food in them, zip lock it up, and put a, a machine sealer across the top there so no will come out, if, even if the zip opens. What I will do for interest, I'll put a link in the description and you can uh, check them out if you're interested in getting yourself some. Because if I don't say that, someone will ask for one and there won't be a link there and I'm getting bit really bad. Right, we can't put two in at once in this stove. So we'll just put the main meal in for now without burning myself as well. Yeah, so that's in. I should have brought the uh, Takana cook pot because that would have been a bit better. And then a uh, creamy mash, cake and custard for afterwards. I did bring this out because I want to pour it back in there. But now I'm thinking, is there really any point? But I just need that to hurry up so I can eat some. If I would have brought the Takana cooks out, both meals would have fit in it perfect. But I thought of using this stove for a change. Primal Ridge. Yeah, oh, I'm getting bit. Right, so I thought I'd quickly turn the light on, show you the OEX Fox 2 all set up, tucked nicely behind these bushes here. And obviously, I've got the e bike just there. I will be laying that down again when it comes ready for bed. But I think you can tell if I turn this light out now. It is starting to get darker. We do have the moon just in between the trees there. And I've just got my mashed potato reheating. Right, so there's tea. Tomato, basil, I can't remember what else you call it, but we've got some 
creamy mashed potatoes there as well. And I am looking forward to eating this a lot. You know where, when somewhere seems too quiet to be true, this is what this area feels like. Mm. <laughs> wow, it does taste nice when you're so hungry, doesn't it? Oh yeah, steaming hot. Plum tomatoes, not even plum. Round tomatoes. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's been a good day today, good good ride. Uh I think I caused myself the problem when it seemed like to be really clear and I put it into sports mode and I had to go to sport mode for about five ten minutes. That seems to drain your battery, but it only goes for about three minutes and then it cools down and then you can put it back on. And obviously I'm putting in the highest speed possible. So that's what did drain the battery pretty quick. So I've sort of shot myself in Edry Eliana. But I've been pedaling quite a few miles this evening with it turned off. If I have to do it in the morning, it's not such a big problem, is it really? Right, so it's 10 o'clock at night now. I, uh, I've put the camo on it over the tent and it's about a quarter over e-bike as well. As soon as it gets light in the morning, I'll be up anywhere. And I'll, uh, I'll pack up and get straight off home because I don't really want to be seen hanging around here in the morning because I think there'll be a lot of dog walkers. I have made a coffee, but wow, it's going to be absolutely burning. So, last thing I want to do is burn my lips, so I'll let that cool down a bit. All my equipment's set out. My uh, equipment that I'm using is my Outdoor Vitals sleeping mat. My uh, One Wind Down top quilt. So I've got that out tonight. And my puller is my Climac puller. It's just all the equipment I'm sort of testing. But I say one thing, it's a very, very quiet spot here. And sometimes I always think, is something not right with it being quiet? I'm just uh, relaxing because my shoulders are killing me from carrying that bag. I really can't wait to set up the other e-bike with the equipment on each side of the back wheel and some stuff on the front of the... Uh, bike with the basket that'll make it a lot easier but it's just the start of this sort of stuff for me something different to the channel exactly what i want to do if this is sort of stuff you want to see please do consider hitting that subscribe button but for now i'm just going to relax and i'll bring you back in a bit well good morning people it's nearly half past six i slept pretty well Woke up a couple of times. I didn't realise last night, but these were uh, pine trees. <laughs> I think I was that tired last night. I didn't really pay much attention at all, to be fair. I just found some way to camp and thought that'll do. But I just thought it's mine. I'd give you a quick look around. You can see where I am. So it is quite open here. But I do remember coming up and thinking, well, them uh, little trees there, the same colour as my OX tent, because there's my OX tent hidden tree there. So I thought that'd be a brilliant place to put it. And it was. Really a good little spot, that, wasn't it? And there's that water that I showed you yesterday. And tent is tucked in there. Then the e-bike. Come on it. I took that off just as I woke up. 
I don't really like just throwing stuff on the floor like me e-bike, but it's better to be laying it down and having it stood up. Tell you what, not nicer than having cake and custard for your breakfast. <coughs> Couple of pheasants down at the water ledge. Water ledge, water hey. edge. It's going to be interesting how long the rest of this battery lasts. Yeah, there is. So what I've started doing is, like the plastic bowl I had my meal in and all the other food bags, I've started now using that to where I can stick all my rubbish and things like that in. I can get home and empty that out, turn it inside out and just wash it down. So it won't be that bad really. And then once you've got everything you need, just seal it back up. I don't have to have any of the food wrappers moving around in my bag spreading the waste food when it's all away in there. I think that's quite a good idea, that. Good thinking there, Dan. Right, so I'm going to start getting some of this stuff packed away now and then we'll uh, get back on the trail and then we'll see how long the e-bike lasts now. I put the helmet on now. Well, I had my breakfast with the helmet on or pudding, whichever way around. Uh, I did put it up in the tree and I thought, if I don't put that on my head, I will forget it. So I thought I'd get it on now. And there's no way I can forget it anyway. Right, I'm gonna start packing up. And by the time I've done that, my coffee, it'll be perfect to drink. Right, it's time to get on my bike. What I'll do is, I'll get back down to the pathway and then we'll look up from over there at these trees and we'll just see what it looked like from down there. Tents away, obviously always leave no trace. But for now, let's say I'm gonna make my way back to the path, come back, we'll look up and then we'll see uh, just how long this battery lasts. Will it make it back to the end? Like I said last night, uh, my own fault because I put it on sports mode and that drains the battery. I had it on uh, Pedal Assist 9, <laughs> just to make it easier. And then when I realized battery was going pretty quick, panic station kicked in thinking, I'm gonna have to pedal it like a proper bike and I don't wanna do that. But sometime this morning, that will have to happen. So from the bottom path, we were just tucked up in there somewhere. I think it would have been pretty hard for somebody to see me anyway, but yeah, what a cool little spot. Right, we'll make his way across this path, then we'll go back up here, then I'll bring you back and we'll have, have another look over. 
So from the top path, yeah, I don't think I've ever noticed. It is, does seem quite a distance there, doesn't it? I will say one thing, when you plan on doing these sort of videos and it all turns out all right, and the next morning it feels quite good, to be fair. And that might sound really daft, but it's the truth. Morning, mate, all right? Yeah, you feel pretty good, but your plan turned out right. Right, I have 39% battery. Let's get to where I started and uh, bring you back. Right then, so I'm back where I started from. Wow, 19% battery. When I hadn't needed it, I've turned the e-bike off and just pedaled it as a normal e-bike. My legs are killing me. Quite a couple of hilly parts there. Didn't realise going down. Yeah, you can see how much the e-bike has been taking a good beating with mud. These back suspensions, I don't think these do anything for you. Because my bum is killing me. So I don't think these back suspensions do much good. The front, yeah. The front really works well. The centre, I didn't feel much about it. I think they're only there if you carry someone on the back of it, but I won't really want to do that myself. <clears throat> so just for a go, I mentioned in the video, but I'm going to be doing something with the e-bike. Well, one of my lads have uh, left home, flown the nest, and uh, he walks to work. He's only on apprenticeship wage, but uh, yeah, he walks to work. It's a bit of a distance. So I think I'm going to give this uh, e-bike to him and he can make good use out of it, get there and back to work instead of it taking him quite a while to get uh, there and back. <clears throat> for him to get buses, it's like three buses for a 20 minutes journey or something like that. It's crazy how it works. So I think this e-bike could do him a world of good. Now, I just want to say thanks for watching. It's been a great video. I've really enjoyed this one. If you want to see more, you can press this here by subscribing to my channel. I'll share another video up there for you. But for now, I'm going to get home. I'm going to get in that bath because my ass is killing me. Thanks for watching.